As many people head home, they are quick to thank those who helped them out of a difficult situation. CTV's Joel Bowie now with some of those stories. Joel? Kyle, this event is one many people will remember for the rest of their lives, for the terror of Mother Nature, but also for the thoughtfulness of strangers. In Watford today, the gratitude after the storm. George. <laughs> yeah, what are survivors? <laughs> Now I have my newest best friend, George. <laughs> and it's all good. We've been eating very well, and uh, the people have been wonderful. The small town people got hearts as big as all outdoors, and they treated us like uh, royalty. For two days, community members here have provided food, towels, cell phone chargers, and most importantly, shelter. This was where I was sleeping every night. So it was, uh, it was a home away from home, I guess. I didn't, didn't have time to put up any decorations. John Lanshoot did take time this morning to thank the many people who helped out. Good luck. He and others packing their bags and their recently retrieved cars. The trucker next to us said we're going to be here all night. Panic kind of set in. Headed back out on the roads, but knowing this time they were headed home. We're going home today. <laughs> we're not hoping we're going. We slipped a note under our door. We met Hugh Martin in Guelph this afternoon with perhaps the most heartwarming story of all. I, I'll never forget it. He and his wife were stranded, but lucky enough to find a hotel. Luckier still when the couple who had rented it for their wedding used the deposit to pay for others' rooms. I'm sure it was a very sad thing for this couple. Uh, unfortunately, the weather had stopped their, their plans, um, but uh, the generosity is beyond words. I would like to say to them, thank you so much, and you restored my faith in human beings. So many stories like that coming out today, Kyle, and so many more we will probably never know of. Hmm. That's so true, too, Joel. Okay, thank you very much. So the cleanup is underway, but Lambton and Middlesex counties do remain in a state of emergency, and lots is still to be done. Meantime, Premier Dalton McGuinty is saying there will be a review of the highway closure that left all those motorists stranded. We'll take a look at, um, at the circumstances, take a look at how this thing evolved and ask ourselves whether there's anything that we might have done better to ensure that these kinds of things happen, don't happen. I mean.